First step to improving your vascularity is obviously to decrease your body fat. You can't see your veins if they're covered by a layer of fat, so you need to get into a caloric deficit and reduce your body fat levels down to maybe like 10 to 14 percent which is quite low but that's going to be a good level for vascularity and also still maintaining a lot of muscle mass you can refer to my recent guide on losing fat if this is something that's a priority for you another thing that people often don't think about is proper hydration and that includes salt and electrolytes so salt will pull water into your blood vessels and that increases the amount of blood in your blood vessels which will make you appear more vascular so if you eat a very clean diet with not many processed foods in it then you probably have quite low sodium levels so you should salt uh, most of your meals like your eggs in the morning maybe your meat uh, some of your salads only if you don't have a lot of processed foods that is because a lot of processed foods have lots of sodium in them most of the american diet is quite high in sodium because most of it is processed so as long as your diet is pretty clean then you should consider adding salt to your meals to improve your hydration and to pull more water into your veins and the third one is obviously to exercise and increase your general activity level. So exercising will directly stimulate blood flow to the muscles that you're using, which is why you start to see veins while you're working out. Obviously, if you want forearm veins, then you should do forearm exercises like farmer walks, reverse grip curls, finger curls, and even just like holding a weight will increase the blood flow to your forearms because the muscles are using lots of ATP, which requires oxygen, which requires blood flow to deliver the oxygen to the muscles. Make sure you do quite high reps, like close to failure. You can do some isometric holds as well and reduce your rest times to retain as much blood in the muscle as possible. And the same tips apply to any other muscle group that you want to make vascular. It's so like your biceps, your shoulders, your chest. Most people don't have much fat on their forearms, so you can see forearm veins pretty easily but other muscles require a lower body fat percentage for you to start seeing veins on them now to get into some of the more interesting details about how you can really optimize your blood flow to maximize the visibility of your veins so nitric oxide is a really important compound that relaxes your blood vessels which means they enlarge and more blood can flow through them which obviously makes them more visible this relaxation of the blood vessels is called vasodilation and it's the opposite of vasoconstriction which is like a tightening of the blood vessels which restricts blood flow you want to avoid vasoconstriction by staying warm, although cold exposure does have its uses. You want to avoid stress, don't smoke cigarettes, and avoid or minimize caffeine. All of these things will restrict your blood flow and make your veins less visible. So in order to increase nitric oxide, which is going to relax your blood vessels and make more blood flow through them, you can use citrulline and arginine. And these are amino acids which are found in food or you can supplement them. Citrulline is found especially high in watermelon. And if you combine this with sea salt, so you sprinkle a bit of sea salt on your watermelon, that's going to be really good for hydration and vascularity. Citrulline is also also really high in cucumber squash and pumpkin and arginine is another amino acid which is converted into nitric oxide in the body and you can find arginine in nuts and seeds meat and dairy citrulline is a precursor to arginine which means citrulline is converted into arginine in the body and then arginine is converted into nitric oxide so both of these are precursors to nitric oxide and it's nitric oxide which relaxes the blood vessels and increases blood flow another way to increase nitric oxide is to nasal breathe so breathe through your nose and this releases nitric oxide from the nasal sinuses and it then travels down the windpipe to the lungs where it's absorbed into the blood to relax the blood vessels. UVA radiation from sunlight also releases nitric oxide from its storage in the skin where it plays a role in giving you a tan and regulating blood flow in the skin. So don't shy away from a bit of direct sunlight especially in the morning and the evening hours when the sun isn't quite so strong. Beetroot or beets as you Americans call them are high in nitrates which the body converts to nitric oxide so you can eat beetroot or drink beetroot juice or take beetroot powder in like your protein shakes and stuff leafy greens like kale and arugula or rocket are also really high in nitrates spicy foods which contain the chemical capsaicin like cayenne pepper also increase nitric oxide and fatty fish like salmon mackerel sardines they contain omega-3 fatty acids which promote nitric oxide release and reduce blockages in your blood vessels so all of these things are going to increase your nitric oxide which is going to dilate your blood vessels 
vessels and make them more visible. But like anything, too much nitric oxide is bad. Nitric oxide is a free radical which reduces ATP production in cells, reducing the energy available to them. So I wouldn't recommend maxing out nitric oxide all the time, just when you want to look especially vascular or improve blood flow for other reasons. There are lots of other foods you can eat to relax your blood vessels and improve blood flow uh, that don't affect nitric oxide. Flavonoids are a kind of antioxidant which aids vasodilation and reduces inflammatory molecules in the blood, which improves blood flow. You can get flavonoids and other antioxidants from dark chocolate, onion, citrus fruits and berries. Garlic contains a sulfuric compound called allicin which also causes vasodilation. Turmeric is a spice which contains a compound called curcumin which improves blood flow and some other foods that have been shown to improve blood flow are ginger and cinnamon. So these are all some great options if you want to relax your blood vessels and improve blood flow which is going to make your veins more visible. You don't need to do all of these at once. I would try like one or two at a time see how it affects your visibility of your veins especially on like your forearms and see which ones work best for you which ones you like taking and can eat consistently so that's basically all you need to know about making your veins more visible improving blood flow by exercising or reducing stress making sure you're hydrated and eating certain foods that can increase your blood flow like watermelon beetroots and pomegranate i'll put a list of all the foods and supplements that can increase blood flow in the description so you can quickly reference that if you need to as a bit of a shopping list but i hope this helps you let me know in the comments after like a few weeks if you try some of these if your vascularity has improved i know mine certainly has especially i find having more salt really helps me because i have a very clean diet already watermelon is really good pomegranate is really good and garlic especially raw garlic is also really good so thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video